The purpose of today's demo is going to be to learn how to automate the creation of sequences or assigning specific numbers to records in Odoo's system. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at, the most obvious one, is how to generate uh, SKUs or internal reference numbers automatically in Odoo. So first thing you want to do is go to settings, make sure you're in developer mode, and also make sure uh, in this instance you would need inventory installed and Odoo Studio. You don't need Studio installed, you can do it through the back end, but I'll, uh, I'll do it through Studio and the back end if you want to see. So first go to the field that you want to automate the creation of a value for. So if we go into Master Data Products, create a new product, we'll see here we want to automatically generate, let's just say the uh, internal reference code, which has the uh, technical field name of default underscore code. Now what we'll do is we'll go to Studio, we'll go to Automations, and we'll actually go ahead and this is where the, uh, the activity, this is where we'll create the rule. But before we do that, let's take a step back and let's go and create a sequence. So you create a new sequence here. You'll see we have some existing sequences. Uh, we'll create a fresh one. We'll name it um, SKU Creation. We'll give it a sequence code. In this, co in this instance, we'll call it product underscore code. Um, don't get this confused with the field name. The field is default underscore code. This sequence code can be whatever you want it to be. Um, and then here you'll define your prefix. So we'll just say um, NKO, and then we'll have 0001. And right, we can just start to get into the details here of configuring this, which we can cover in another demo. But we'll save that. So the real important thing to, to consider here when you're writing this is the sequence code, product underscore code. Now we'll go to automated actions and we can create one and this will be doing it through the back end, right? And we'll do, um, we'll name this create SKU. The model will be on the product template. The action, we're going to execute Python code. Trigger condition will be on the creation of the actual record. And here is where we'll define the code. I already have it written, um, right? If not, record.default code is the sequence uh, record that we created, the identifier. Record.write, write in the default code in that field, take into consideration the IR sequence, next by code, and then apply it, apply it excuse me, to the, um, the apply, excuse me, next the product code, which is the sequence. Here, default code is the actual record. So this is the record that's the actual field on the record that's being taken into consideration. And on that field, we're going to write this sequence, uh, sequence code. Save it. And that should be it. Now you'll go into products, create a product. And we have nothing here yet. Save it and automatically NKO01 applies, right? You create a new product, NKO02, so on and so forth. So that is just one example. Now you can also go here and create a new app, right? And say, um, we'll just call this um, Nick's app. We'll upload an image if we want here, something fun. And once that occurs, next, we'll just, object first name will be, um, let's just say, um, you know, t test results, and we'll create the new model, just like that. And here we are. Now, we have a field here titled technical name x underscore name. So what we can do is create a value here whenever we want to use this. So first I'm going to, right, we can dress this up a little bit. We'll relate this to a contact. We can relate this, um, right, we'll remove this from this view up here. And we'll actually go and apply the name field, uh, maybe even just above this. And then we can create a text field over here and just name it notes. So just like that, x underscore name is that field. So these will be for test results. 
Now what we can do is go create a sequence, create um, test results. Uh, we'll just name this test code. Um, and we'll just say test code. And then we'll have it um, 12, five. Just dress it up a little bit. Test underscore code. So now we can, just to make it simple, I'll copy paste from our um, product code here. Where is it? SKU creation. Up, oh, not here, but in automated actions. I'll just copy this code, create um, test creation, right? And on this we'll do um, test results will be the model, execute Python code on the creation of a new test record, apply, and here we're going to apply on field x underscore name, rewrite x underscore name, and then apply test code and save it. Just like that, just refresh it here and go into Nix app, create, save. And there's our new code, right? So we can create a new one, apply contact, hey there, save it, and we have our new test code there. Automatically it cre creates those, right? So you can, uh, you can apply these to anything, right? Barcodes, you can apply these to um, SKU numbers, you can apply them to custom models as I just did here, as we're just essentially creating a new app, right? We can rename this here as well to reflect it's the test code. And then you'll probably have to change, name it and this nope, it applies it to that view as well, right? So, I mean, it's pretty powerful stuff when you really start to think about it. Um, if you have additional questions or you want to learn more about how to do this or if this same strategy can be applied to your use case, then I'll be happy to help you with that. Let me know.